Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome in, welcome in to CruteCon 2022 live coverage for your week. Let's just uh, make sure things are all nicely set up here for you guys. So I'm able to see who's in chat, who's kicking around. Welcome in, everyone. Let's get this swapped over here. Now, the only thing I have not checked is a few things. As you can see, my camera is currently stuttering a bit, which is frustrating. <laughs> um, but yeah, everything's pretty much good to go right now for this tournament. We've got the guys on stream setting up. We're going to have Blood Angels versus Thousand Suns. It's going to be a great matchup here. Uh, super excited. 72 player uh, tournament. And we're about to get started. I'm still doing all the socials posts. How's everyone doing in chat? Welcome in, everybody. It's awesome to have you with us for this tournament. Where are we all tuning in from today? What's happening, team? So I will quickly in the chat put the list command for you. So you can head over to that link on Best Coast Pairings to check out the list that the players are using for today. Um, 72 players in attendance, which is awesome. Let me just get these uh, Discord messages out. Also, shout out to Tommy Mabs for the follow as we're starting up the, before the stream as well. Really appreciate that. Who's pumped for the round? It's going to be good. I do have some tech stuff I need to set up over this round as well. But who's keen? Hopefully you can all hear me over the music. If the music is a bit too loud, chat, just let me know. I can adjust the uh, volume and such on my end, just so that's a bit uh, less for you guys as well. So yeah, we've got Thousand Signs versus Blood Angels coming up on the stream table, which is going to be great fun. Almost done with all of the posts, ladies and gentlemen, and then I'll be back with you for a decent second here. All righty. Welcome in chat. So, I'm going to start getting things all set up. It's awesome to have everyone in the chat with us today. So, we're going to get this all set up. Each player. The rounds are 2 hours 45. Oh, that decided to not want to do something for me. Alrighty, so just waiting for these guys to know when we're about to kick off. I'm also going to be editing some stuff in the scenes as well to get things ready to go. So I'm going to be right back in one second, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to kick up the music again and I'm going to jump over to the players, get some stuff to them, and we'll be right back with you.
too. Spooky. Oh, it's going to be fun. I'm going to be famous, bro. That's it. <laughs> no, good luck, bro. I had to get on round one because I'm not going to be at the top table. So. <laughs> the chance of uh, being on stream later. Yeah. Oh, 100%. All righty, chat. We've got the players all set up with their microphones ready to go. We're going to kill the music here so that we can hear from them. Now, hopefully, there should be uh, no more. I love the bases, dude. I don't know what's coming I through. I love your bases. Desktop yeah. wise, um, so the base maybe it's the players' mics and it's coming into my head. So different color uh, let me just double check some yeah. stuff. So you got blue, red, green. And so you're mainly squads of five. All good. Two squads of six. All right. So you've got to get power level for the sink stuff. So yep. we're going to swap it over. Okay, so, so the squads of six, they've just got the one heavy weapon in them. Yeah. But then they're all bolters and the flame and pistols on the. Um, Juno, with flamers. you being in chat, my friend, can you get a prediction Perfect. going for me for who's going to be uh, uh, whether it's Blade uh, 2000 Suns for me, please? Deploying. And I'll update just. the uh, title. Here we go. Do we go? Okay, so this mission, ladies and gentlemen, to let you know what the guys are playing. We started the timer. We're just not sure with the. We started the timer. They we started are doing this playing. Number, yeah. Number thirteen, which is driving. Oh, We're just not sure with the screen stuff. All right, so attack the defender. Well, I'll let you deploy first. Go All right. Uh, hectic. Thanks, Jamie. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Um, oh, good side. You don't have to walk as far to do the dice tray. <laughs> Um, reserves and trains, what's uh, nothing. Yeah, nothing's nothing. in reserves. All starting on. Uh, there you go, these guys over here. Forward deploy. Hi, right, ladies and gentlemen. I'll be back in one second. We'll turn to the table view for you guys. And we'll go from there. Actually. I'll crank up the players' mics as well. It happens too long. And everything else will be on. Yeah. So your first one is done. Also, Jack, can I just get an confirmation that you guys can hear the players as well? Oh, the if only you can other thing chat, I guess it might be a sort of gotcha is um, I can deep like put. Anything with a jump pack or pretty much guerrilla tactics and yeah, upon yeah, wings of okay. fire. So. Oh, good. Oh, good. So, I remember. So, so, we got Jordan and Tom. Yep. Jordan playing Thousand Suns. Sure yep. it is. Attack by. CP you start with Jordan? Zero. Zero. Tom? Uh, big spender, three. Three. <laughs> Good to know. Alrighty. So, um, I'll just chuck all those deets into the stream for you guys. Yep. Um, when, when I bring this up, I'll probably put it on the table behind you, Jordan. Yes. Um, pretty much on here, it's got spot for you to ride all your secondaries yep. that you're taking, um, and then you can score them. You've got your primary score on there, so every turn, yeah. Um, I know CP changes, so in terms of the command points, just do at the top of the battle round before you get your CP to your zone. Just put yeah. down how many you've got, so for turn one, turn two, etc. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and then your primary and then your secondary points. Don't worry about necessarily adding up the score part down the bottom or the totals. Yep. I can come up and do that with you guys. Okay, so perfect. I'll bring that over. Um, let me know when you guys start the clock and I'll start the timer as well. Just, just quickly, is that difficult ground? Um, yeah, so what they've done is vents are light and dense. Yep. That's dense and so difficult. difficult so I've got four drops. Yep. So, you're up to uh, so I've got one, two, three, four. Yep. So one more for you. One more for me. Uh, perfect. Okay. 
Just the one little bike hanging out back there. <laughs> a little bike that could. A little bike that could. Uh, Death Company. Front right and center. On the line. I didn't see that one. Kind of. <laughs> uh, Dante. Yep. So character. First character is there. Yep. To the line. Okay. <clears throat> so twenty four and then a charge on the death company? Yeah, yeah, so twelve forward 12 and, and then twelve. Then. And then charge yeah. with plus one to charge. Good. They're pretty fast. They got places to be. They got places to be. All right. Same place. Another character. Not making it hard, boy. <laughs> Character. Uh, eradicate us now. First Redemptor. First Redemptor, very cool. What's the range in the moon plasma? Uh, 36. So 36 and they move like 8. Yep. So we're coming to there. Angles there. Ladies and gentlemen, so to uh, walk you through this mission, this mission number 13 with Data Scry Salvage. So, what we are looking at here is a Vanguard deployment with six uh, objectives. First squad of Sango. Or across the middle center line as so you can see. Just double check that I got the right zone. amount of axes. Yep, that should be all good. Uh, then you have got the Dunner intercept action axes, as the additional. Yeah. Primary, uh, where you get three so points for there. each objective, yep, yep, you yep. do that on in No Man's Land. It is a score, two score, so three score, more objective. And you get the command point for each player turn. And if you control an objective marker in No Man's Land cool. with a unit that has got objective secured, it's a sticky objective for that player until they so go into the... Uh, unless the opponent comes and takes it off them. Cool. So really Kill. interesting here, we're going to quickly jump through and talk Another about squad of these guys. lists. Um, let me just find uh, a people back on, on here, ladies and gentlemen. We have got a prediction going, everybody. So if you are looking for, uh, you know, to spend some channel points, place some bets on either Blood Angels or Thousand Suns, feel free to drop Check your channel there. points there for that. Uh, it's going to be good to see who we think is going to win. And you can win some channel points out of it as well. So to start off with, we're going to go through Jordan's Thousand Suns as he deploys. Uh, let me just find them. Sorry, it's going to be a roster, not on the pairings. 
Now, I will be posting these up in the Discord as well, ladies and gentlemen, once we have gone through them, so you guys are able to see them. Thank God. And I've just got the librarian. Just got my last character down. That is me. Sounds like they're almost finished the Yeah, look, the librarian. So he's going to chill out there. Yes, it is, Juno. So I'm afraid. So we'll be getting that into the Discord for you Mad. guys. Cool, cool. Shall we? Ooh. All right. Hopefully everything is coming through. Juno, have you? Ooh, are you yeah, hearing the players come through as well? Good luck, buddy. Um, do you need to do any command pay? Do you want to do full on queue? I believe that is um, the start of time. So we'll get the time going for them as well. Nah, ooh, I'll just be yeah. back in a second, ladies and gentlemen. On CP. Oh, so I'm up to one. So Once you've done that, do you want to maybe fill out the score sheet for us? Uh, yeah. first, right? I did. Jordan. Yeah. Uh, I'm just going to move him up here. Yep. No uh, worries. Stage a bit. Oops. So I'm not touching. Uh, yep, no worries. Perfect. So again, a CP. Spend one for full on Fury? Yep. Cool. Zero on three. Yep. Cool. Is that... That's you done for the command phase? Yep. Cool. Yeah, I think we'll get Tom to fill it out. What's I do no, now? Right. So we're on Um, right. So for command phase, I'm just going to do the litany. I'm going to use the reroll dice. Fails it anyway. Away we go. Not very interesting. You got all the same. That's all right. So where's the librarian? Is he in that corner over there? Ah, he's over here. All the way back there. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, so I'm going to walk you through the secondary that along. the gentleman has taken to tell you what going to go is going to on here. We're going to start off with the uh, Thousand Sun. Sounds like Jordan's going to do a psychic green interrogation green. here, so we'll just switch, switch over the cameras Thanks. here. Whoop. I'm going to get rid of that Lucky one, and three. my face cam. There we go. So dice tray is up for you guys. So... Jordan has chosen to I'm take putting uh, the in terms third, of which is basically move again within his six secondaries. Yeah. So that he's going to do interrogation and bounce he back. He has taken Sorceress Prowess, Wrath of Magnus. The one's just going to touch on and do the action. Do that. And action. then has also taken Psychic Interrogation. And then for Tom, he has taken Relentless Assault for the Blood Angels. A lot of threes on these advances. And he has taken No Prisoners. As well as Raise the Banners High. And hello Chaplain, how you doing? Welcome in my friends. Hope you're doing well. We're just seeing uh, some movement um, happening here up, from Jordan, who has got first turn here. So remember to get in your predictions here, ladies and gentlemen, to see who is going to win this match. And up. Jack Bow, thank there. you so much for the follow, and welcome to the chapter. Great to have you with us, my friend. Hope you're going to enjoy this coverage well, the that we're bringing to you today. So, in terms uh, of the yeah, wow. uh, secondaries, Jordan has taken... A, we're going to start off with Sorceress Prowess. You score five victory points at the end of the battle for each enemy psychic character was destroyed in the psychic phase. 
by a thousand sun psyker and score destroyed. three for every other enemy psyker that was destroyed in the psychic phase by an enemy psyker so a lot of psychic focus there Wrath of Magnus, you can only select this objective if your opponent has one or more Psyker units in their army. Score three victory points at the end of the battle round if more enemy units than friendly units were destroyed this we battle go, round a as a result of Psychic powers as well. And then Psychic Interrogation is the action that you select a character and you pretty much go, I need to do something to them. Which is, uh, you need to... You got those dudes as their... Uh, just behind. Cast just behind. this yeah. against a character within 24 inches. Uh, and in addition, if the result is equal to or greater than the leadership characteristic of any character models within 24 inches, you gain a command point. So that's really important for the psychic interrogation to keep that going as well. So a lot of psychic heavy secondaries there from Jordan, as you'd expect from Thousand Sons. But as we come into looking at what the Blood Angels have taken, they've taken raise the banners high so they have to get on objective raise the banners and then also uh keep them there to score in the following turns you're then looking at no prisoners so 24 the tom's max really going to try and kill a lot of units uh, and get a lot of points that way from the wound. uh so looks. 13 but i gotta declare it on that's a, um, on a 12. i can declare it but i get plus one the charge Gotcha. That's but, so, but 20 sorry. Uh, just trying to charge. get these guys' mics yeah, like right for you guys, so you can still hear me. Um, so he's going to try and kill as many yeah, models as possible tricks, because there's a lot of <laughs> infantry models by looks in Jordan's army, and then relentless assault for the Blood Angels. I'm just going to pull up now for you guys. Actually, I've got it in Netflix. Why am I looking at the online version when I should be looking at my pack that I've got right in front of me? I'm a bit thick today, ladies and gentlemen. I've had three hours sleep. So, bear with me here. Relentless Assault, if at the end of your turn, score four victory points if there are more Blood Angels units from your army in your opponent's deployment zone than there are yeah, enemy yeah. units in your deployment zone. So, deployment zone shenanigans there for this one, ladies and gentlemen. So, to go through each of their lists, as it looks as though we are still in Jordan movement phase at this point in time. So, for Jordan's list, he has taken a Cult of Magic Battalion that has got... Uh, Araman with Doombolt, Weaver of Fates, Temporal Surge with the Disc of Zinch. He's taken Exalted Sorcerer with Gaze of Hate, Zinch's Firestorm, Devastating Sorcery, Disc of Zinch, the Fire Acolytes upgrade, and the Rehati upgrade as well. An Infernal Master with Glamour of Zinch, Gl uh, Glimpse of Eternity, Malefic Maelstrom, and the Umbralific Crystal as the relic there. Uh, he has taken a unit of five Rubric Marines with an Icon of Flame and Temporal Surge, with four flamers, he's then times that by, so he's got two of those units. Then the next one, he has got uh, a unit of six rubric marines that have got icon of flame, presage on the aspiring sorcerer, four bolt guns and a reaper, uh, soul reaper cannon. Then another unit of six doing the exact same thing, except swapping out the power for academic curse instead. In Elites, he's got a unit of nine Scarab Occult Terminators, one with a Soul Reef for Cannon and Empiric Guidance on cool. the uh, Sorcerer with the Rites of Coalescence in there with a Zangor Shaman as well with Seeker After Shadows, Perplex and the Warlord trait there as the Warlord. By looks, there's some Psychic Powers going, so we're going to quickly finish off the rest of his list. He's also taken us Chaos Spawn in to um, his fast oh, yeah, attack okay. choice as well. We are then uh, looking at a Vanguard detachment for Chaos yeah. Demons, so Alliance of Zeech, so with Kairos Fate Weaver, a unit of five um, Flamers with a Pyrocaster, and two units of three Flamers, both with Pyrocasters as well. So zero CP, as we can see, coming in at 1999 points. We're going to swap back to Jordan as he's doing some more Psychic Powers here, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm just going to do Gaze of Hate, which is a Witchfire. So I've got my one Witchfire. Uh, I'm going to do... I've done the one blessing. I've got to do the malediction, so I need a five on the dice. I've got the malediction. I need two more blessings. Terminators are going to bust the range of their shooting by six, which they get. Um, minus one to hit from him. Uh, I guess... Uh, I don't want him to peril, so I'm going to re-roll it. Yep. So, CP, CP re-roll or normal? Yep, yep, yep. It does fail, because I need just a five on the dice. But I can plus one with the bars. So we're going to do that. So minus one to hit. So I'll grab the buff token in a second. I just left it in the bag there. So yep. Minus one to hit. It's going to go on these rubrics here. Yeah. Six man. Um, 
So I did double move, I did the bonus range, minus one hit. <laughs> Being cheeky. Um, and all Araman's got to do is the involunt save, so he's going to put the involunt save on the rubrics. Fails it, but rerolls test because he's Araman. So it's good. Um, and that is actually it for the psychic phase. So we've got yep. minus one hits and the better involunt save on them. Yep. We've got plus six inch range on their shooting, which doesn't matter. Yeah, um, yeah. It's just to get the blessing off. So I did four blessings, one malediction, and one witchfire. Nice. Now shooting. Um, we'll start here. Does 3d6 plus 9. Let's strength 6. Yes, do you want to transhuman? Uh, yeah, I'll transhuman that. Sounds good. Oh, wait. I spent that. So, it is 14 plus 9. Hopefully that's a bit clearer for you now in chat, ladies and gentlemen. Damage one? Yeah, it's damage yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yep, yep, yep. yep. Um, and then the same with the flamers over there. So it's 6d6 plus 18. So d18. the other 15 now? Yeah, so I'll just cool. do eight. Yep, yep. Uh, so one, two dudes side. Sounds good. Uh, um, and then you've got 15 more, more to go. Three ups. Uh, uh, so I dropped three. So yeah, you did 12. Uh, I dropped, so 11 more. 11 more? Yep, yep. left on one wound. Not bad. Um, that's actually it. Can't see anything else that I can shoot. So, scoring it up. Yep. Oh, I'll get the two for holding like the mission specific data intercepts. Uh, two for those. So I can't fail morale there. I'd have to do morale there. So leadership eight. Yeah, he runs. Cool. See that's you, mate. good for you. I can't score <laughs> prowess off it now. Um, Wrath I'll definitely get interrogation I'll get. And then it is over to you. Yeah, mint. So how many, sorry. So how I've got two for intercepts, because I did the action, yep. and I've got two at the end of my turn. Yep. Um, All righty, ladies and gentlemen. Three. So Wrath of Magnus, you I've can't just beat, gotten so my uh, touch portal yeah. working, so we should be back turn. in business Perfect. in terms uh, of being brilliant. able to show you some stuff. Um, so, um, all, right. all right. So, yep. Let's have a quick look at what's happened here. In terms of deployment, what we've seen is um, three. Three. Yeah, three. Yeah. Uh, so, so a bit behind phase. here, so bear with me on this one, please, ladies Jeff and gentlemen. Into assault doctrine, and I'm going to give him chapter master rerolls. So what yep, we've got is overkill, you can see Sangard and a couple yeah. of dreads right there for the Blood Angels. Right. Some assault intercessors with some yeah. more Sangard there with some Death Company. Behind there, you can see some more so the intercessors down the bottom there. Sangard and some more dreads up the top back there as well. As you can see, for the Thousand Suns, you can see the flame is up in that top left-hand corner. You've got some yeah, in that bottom right. The Scarab Occult Terminators with, uh, I believe it's either Araman or the uh, Exalted Sorcerer on disc sitting down in that bottom left there on the objective with a lot of stuff behind this line of sight blocking L. Yeah. 
and you've also Never then got the flamers so behind this ruin as well. Really now, I can uh, confirm all the ruins on the table are line of sight blocking. They are obscuring. So bear that in be mind you when it comes to, to looking at as these. As we have got two forests feasible. on the battlefield, which is here like and here. And then you've got two vents that, up in each right, quarter down that down. are um, um, treated as like freighters, I believe. And then you've got some containers on each side over here as well. So whilst we are in Tom's movement phase, we're also going to look at Tom's list. So he is running a Blood Angels Battalion with Commander Dante as the Warlord, Librarian with Veil of Time, Null Zone, Psychic Fortress as the Chief Librarian with a Four Sword Jump Pack, Psychic Mastery uh, with uh, Warlord Trait with the Armor Indominus as well. A Sanguinary Priest in there with uh, Jump Pack, Rites of War, Warlord Trait and the Visage of Death Relic. We are then looking at a unit of five assault intercessors and two units of five incursors there as well. Then we've got a unit of death company marines. I believe that's five death company with two thunder hammers and five, uh, three bolt pistol chainsaws with jump packs in there that we've just seen jump up onto the middle here, trying to take out these um, flamers right there. So what else he had? The other stuff he's got, he's got two redemptive dreadnoughts with Stormbolters, uh, okay. Icarus Rocket like, Pods, Macro Plasma Incinerators, Onslaught Gatling Cannons, my preferred build for, for these guys. Then, then he has got a unit of Sangard with he's four swords and two like, axes, so yeah. that's a unit of six, times that by three, uh, ladies and gentlemen. He's then got a, uh, an attack bike with a multi-melter and three eradicators with melter rifles and a multi-melter in that unit as well, coming to 2,000 points for three yeah, CP. So... Uh, Really interesting to see Thousand Suns bringing in the demons, yeah, bringing in Kairos Fate Weaver to get that psychic mastery side going side straight off the side. rip. But then you have also got Blood Angels yeah. running a lot of good stuff there, running the double redemptor, uh, running the Sangard bombs, running Dante. Um, so really uh, great to see. I, I think this is going to be an interesting matchup. What do you guys think in chat? I'm keen to hear what your predictions are. And I'm going to swap off the that and give you that so that you can see the plays. Feels like that single librarian is a trap, to be honest. I believe so, Juno. So I would be agreeing with you there. Uh, taking that single librarian uh, and only having that, particularly when it comes to the secondaries that Jordan has taken, particularly Psychic Interrogation and Sorceress Power, Wrath of Magnus, is really important. Uh, for that. Now, to look at the win rates, ladies and gentlemen, for these guys. So, if we're going to pull out on the Stat Center Tableau visualization, I can tell you the win rate of these armies currently. So, if we look at we want Blood Angels, and then we also want Thousand Suns. So currently, Blood Angels are sitting at 47% of a win rate, whereas Thousand Suns are also sitting at a 47% win rate. So both of these armies are really solid. Now, if I was to put things up here in terms of the uh, mirror factions so we can see what they are like into each other. Do you just want to look at Sarah or something? No, OBSEC. OBSEC? Yeah. Oh, cool. So I can't easily take it? Yeah. So I'm going to put him... In that, I'm going to remove that. All in right, so up. looks like the um, Blood Angels have a 56% win rate and 44%. So Blood Angels back. in 2000 Suns. Blood Angels have so got the 56% win rate with 41 games won, whereas the 1000 uh, Suns have got a 44% win rate. Just one of the power what we see things. here so it's Kairos, he knows all is that certain cults are doing a lot better than others. But the win rate of Core Blood Angels is still where it is at. So Tom has got the, the win rate per se when it comes to the overall. But we're going to be looking at how this game turns out. Now, I know Tom did say that this is his second event back uh, playing 40k in a while. So we'll see if that does play a factor here as well, ladies and gentlemen. Anything within six of this. But what we are seeing here, you can see the Sangard have moved up onto objective number five right here. Um... This isn't the most meta Blood Angels list. I don't know how much stock I'd put in that win rate. You are correct there, Junos. You are correct. So it would be we very interesting to see how there. it goes from there. Uh, you can see those Redemptors have moved up from behind here. They've moved around to there. Those Sangard are there. You can see the Eradicators have also moved up. 
maybe a bit uh, exposed. Because by looks, Kairos Fateweaver is off the table. So it means that Fateweaver is going to be deep striking in. So really what we're potentially seeing here from Tom is he's spreading out his forces to deny a lot of different areas that Fateweaver can kind of deploy in. And we want to see that. We want to see that screening uh, because then it restricts how far in Fateweaver can come uh, onto this table. Um... And Dante is going to... So we can see Dante is in the center there as well, just being moved. But yeah, I'm really stoked to see how this is all coming out, ladies and gentlemen. No, he's not going to give the Eradicators. So this is one of the first events I'm covering straight after Australia's WTC win as well. So it's awesome to be able to bring you some faction. We're turning to Tom Psychic Phase, so I'm going to turn it back to the players as we hear how he goes here. Psychic, I will do. Veil of Time yep. on the. Oh, I'm not within 18, I don't think. Can you shimmy a little bit? Oh, You've got the movement. You can shimmy if you need to as well. Yeah, true. I am within 18. Perfect. How did so you do the I'll do that the yeah. of Just plus one, or just, just plus and minuses, or whatever? Uh, so just put the time in. At the end of it, or at the start of it? Or? Uh, Yep, gotcha. Yeah. Yep, no worries. I uh, just did Veil of Time. That's so what I'm, I'm out of on denies. 11. Like I'm way back. I yeah. don't think anything's gonna. I have to measure all my denies from the actual source models. So they fight first and reroll charges. That's right. Um, the flamers don't fit up, fight particularly good. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I'll do Psychic Fortress. Gotcha. Uh, which goes off on a. It'll plus one the cast. No, it doesn't go off. Um, so re-roll. Yeah, I'll re-roll that. Cool. Uh, which goes off on a... Cool. So five up in one around here. Yep. Cool, shooting. Oh, sorry. Um, shit, I forgot to do my actions. No, do it. That's what um, I assume you were going to do with the bike. Sorry, yeah. yeah so the bike's going to do the action for that. And the banners. Um, and the... You do control that. You do control that. So was, yeah, banners, 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 banners. Yep. Um, sorry, bro. No, man. All good. Um, All good. Like I said, I'm happy with whatever your intent <laughs> is. Yeah. You move them there, they can do the thing. Um, hectic. So, shooting? Yep. Uh, all these Sangar, they're assault weapons, so they're just going to pump everything into them. Do you want it with them doing banners? Oh, actually, yeah, that's right. They're doing banners. Um, so, Redemptor, I guess. How do you want to split it? So there are three wounds of face. Yeah. Um, you can see them, I think, as well, probably, maybe. Yeah, you can see them as well. Um, they're two wounds of face. They're three wounds? Three wounds and just marines. Yeah. All right, look, I'm going to do start with the Black Redemptor. Yep. Into those boys. Is he in range so with all the guns? Only the plasma. Cool. I think plasma is probably the only thing in both cases, yeah. maybe. Yeah, cool. so I'll uh, overcharge plasma. So three damage. Sounds good. Uh, six shots. Good start. Uh, so hitting on minus one hit. Yep. So hitting on fours, three rolling ones. Not bad. Yeah. Winning on two. Winning on twos. Uh, on your demon save. So One's dead. One's dead. Um, you can do the same with the other one. Or? They're minus one to hit. Yes. Yeah, and four up in bowl. Uh, look, I'll just pump into the other squad as well. So, other one. Same thing again. Uh, three shots. Fours. We roll the ones. One shot. No. Cool. Um, cool, 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 cool. Um, all right, that's pretty much it. So, charges. Yep. Just do the death company into them. Yep, yep, yep. So, uh, on an eight, we'll do it. So, I want to try and get as much movement as possible. Yeah, I just put those back there so we could do the deployment zone for you. So, deployment zones like that diagonal. 
So yeah. I think you'll have to do it with a consolidation. Yeah. But you can definitely put your back row on the deployment line easily. So with the plus one, the charge, a nine... You, you can I go straight through anyway, because you're infantry. So I can probably go back in there. You won't have to measure around, though, because you're infantry. You just go straight through the building. Ah, uh, yeah. So you can just go up and over if you want to. Uh, and then... There. Um, cool. So... So I'll start with the hammers, because there's three... Three wins apiece, yeah. It's all going to be a six-up save as well. Um, so yeah. So wounding on... Uh, hitting on fours with chapter master rerolls. And then wounding on twos. Yep. Should do uh, it. Are you Ooh, so eight, I think that is. Eight six-up saves. Uh, They're dead. Cool. Easy. That's big there for the uh, death company there to go so in and take out that unit of flamers. It's only three strong with nine wounds, but oh, those thunder hammers on that swing were able to get in there and get it done, ladies and gentlemen. So let's see if what he's able to do. As you can see, he's be, using that consolidation yeah. to get yeah. into yeah, Jordan's deployment does. zone to try and Looks score some points on turn Perfect. one. Um, cool. So I think for that one. We've just got... So Relentless, you get four. Data Intercept, you hold three objectives. Uh, and yeah. Three banners. Three. No prisoners. How many did I add? You killed 12 wounds. 12 wounds. The wounds. And I don't get banners yet. Not just yet. No. All right. Cool. So I've got you on two CP. I didn't miss any spends today. Yeah. So, I've got you on three now. Yep. Both of us on three. So start the round with two. Um, oh, right. So, so, you've got their offset. Oh, wait, they're, they're offset. No, no. All righty, ladies and gentlemen. Two. So, yep. a big so turn one, one as you can see. It's a whole so, two, whole we can see a lot of movement Memphis. has happened here. So, the assault um, intercessors right here, or they could be in curses. Oh, yeah, sorry. Um, I right think they team may team actually be in Kurzes. Didn't oh, manage to get into the these guys. Didn't want to risk um, the Overwatch. The You've like also then got the yeah, yeah, other unit of in here towing onto this, on to this objective. Um, these guys down here towing onto this objective. Death Company yeah, making a push for the deployment zone. Yeah, you got the Sangard over the here camera. towing onto this objective here with the other this five Flamers up on this top objective. So this means that Jordan is only scoring eight points so, uh no not one, even that actually he's two, only scoring on four points for three. battle round one for primary Bells that's um so round two it. sorry so that's really important no, tom's done a really great job at no, denying his opponent's so, uh scoring so opportunities there and set himself up to be able to score a full 12 points yeah, no going into stuff. his turn on turn two Ooh. which we'll just get updated for you now now, I will also get uh, into a bit more here, but we've just gone uh, almost two hours uh, into the round left, no, and they're already on turn two, points. which is great to see. You want to see it about half hour rounds uh, as these guys are going. They're playing pretty quickly, which is great. The clock is a great motivator for that, ladies and gentlemen. So as we can see here, I reckon we may see Fate Weaver come in at some point this turn. These Scarab Occult Terminators are going to be doing some damage here. We may see them push across here. Or yeah, push yeah, up. We've up seen the uh, Zangor Enlightened Sorcerer oh, yeah. move out yeah. of the deployment zone uh, right there. The... With the Eradicators posturing the in the thing, midfield, this know, really means that there. they've got the range to be able to deal with Fate Weaver wherever so he decides to come in. Just be able to move and just nuke. Move and nuke. Um, which is going to be a real problem for Jordan. He needs to make sure that he's on top of that when it comes to where he places them and watching out for their threat range with a 5-inch move followed by a 24-inch range. So a 29-inch radius that these guys are putting out of threat is massive from the center of the field. That covers 90% of the table there, ladies and gentlemen. Now, if I am over a bit too much, my mic arm isn't allowing me to be a bit more centered for you guys, so I might even adjust that a little bit there. Cool. So, 
What we are also seeing now is that there wasn't much of an alpha strike turn one from Tom shooting, but we're seeing now Jordan in his turn start to move out his units from behind this line of sight blocking piece of terrain to really start to deal with oh, some yeah. of the things that uh, Tom has put into threat range. For example, the five death company right oh, there. Yeah. Potentially incurs is down the bottom here. Potentially the Sangard up the top. Oh, amazing. Thank you. Because we've got the full unit of Sangard here. You've got the Sangard up the back there with the attack bike as well. Yeah, There's probably a few other things that are kicking around. You've got the Librarian um, as well. So I, I this is shaping up to be a great game. Uh, I'm going to get the secondaries and the command points and everything from the players for their turn one. We're going to update them. But right now, we're going to turn it back to Jordan and see what he's doing in his movement phase. I want to thank everyone who is joining us in chat. Give a shout out from where you are joining in the world, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, and thank you to everyone for jumping in in the prediction to see who's going to come out on top this round. I hope you're all joining us. If you're enjoying the live coverage, feel free to drop a follow on the channel. And if you have got an Amazon Prime, feel free to use it. If you have not used it, you get to use that once a month on any content creator's stream. And it just helps them uh, be able to do various things. And it helps me to be able to get out to events a bit more often. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank everyone for joining me. And let's hear from the players. Do I need to come in within 12, outside of 12 from them? Or is that a different? No, nah, that's the uh, infiltrators. These guys just, um, they, yeah, forward deploy, ignore, uh, hit modifiers. Gotcha. No worries at all. Spawn's going to do the action again. Yep. And are they obsec? Yeah. Yeah, they're assault intercessors. They're also obsec. Uh, obsec, yeah. So. So I just want to say 24 back from them. Yep. So they get charged. Within 12 of some of them, most of them. And then Burb. Big Burb. Big Burb. Welcome. He's coming to the party. So I just want to put him 18 inches from the furthest most model there. Yep. Oh, he's dead. He's not that scary. <laughs> um, all right, so that is it for movement. Yeah. Um, we'll do interrogation to start. Uh, um, I don't get a CP out of it. That's all right. As we pass it, um, I'll do the seven command points from 
just experiencing some nice. internet issues yeah. right now, ladies and gentlemen. So just bear with us. It is seeming that it's just correcting itself over time. Yeah, um, so just bear in with us here uh, as it does uh, play up a little bit. Hopefully, it's not impairing your viewing at all. Um, so. Last At this point, we can see yeah, that Jordan has scored three points on Wrath of Magnus and Psyching Interrogation, giving him six points uh, at the bottom of turn one. And then Tom obviously hasn't uh, gotten any points as of yet. But we're going to turn back to see what Jordan's doing in his psychic phase here. It's cool. So minus one strength on their shooting if they survive. Yeah. On the one blessing, I need another couple. So um, he's going to do minus one to hit. Yep. Oh, he keeps failing it. We'll bring all that. Yep. So we do get the minus one to hit. So we're going to put it on the blue blue bricks. Yep. So that's two blessings. Which ones will be sweet? Aaron, in whatever order is fine. So that's them, them, and him. So blue blue bricks. Actually, you can probably do the blessing there. So let's do that. We'll do plus one hit from blue river. Which we get with the plus one on a seven. So yep. we go on the termies. And pink unit is just gonna smite. Super super smart. Super super. So four into your death company. Yep. Feel no pains. Cool. Do die. Couple dead. That's all right. Termies are going to do plus six inches on their shooting, which they get. And then it's a four, a plus one, they're good. So that's them, blue, pink. Two characters to go and Kairos, I believe. Two characters and Kairos. So, characters, characters, characters. Um, mm -mm. Start off with Omega here. Yeah, that's all good. We'll just do another like three or four. Yeah. Uh, Smite. Which is uh, the damage. Um, cool. And sorry, got to spend four for Bath wants to do an additional V3 here. So, how many is that? Just four. Just four? Just a smite and a malevolent charge from my. Off the day I roll another one. Um, so, two more. I dead. think that was already. Yeah. It, I think it was a five that got knocked yeah, over. Yeah, they got knocked so. over. So, two are dead. Yeah. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Um, um, he's going to do Sinctious Firestorm targeted at your friends back here. Yep. Which we get. So, nine dice, six up still mortal. Yep. Uh, so, two mortals on them. Two mortals. And then, then what do we do? Gaze of Hate is his last power. Which we get three dice, four up So, there's two more mortals. So, yep. kills so one, one and then one's on two. Yep. That's alright, actually. Cool, cool, cool. So, Yo. what I'm going to do is actually do Araman next. I'll just like. He rerolls tests. We get it because we've only done two others, and that's an eight. Um, I'm just going to see if he just to make it flat three onto my friend yeah. here. So hopefully he does. Ah, just, just yeah. dead. Um, Araman's going to do a Doom Bolt. Which does perils. Do I keep the perils? Do I reroll the test? I'm going to take the perils. So the damage on me is one. So Aaron's down to five. I spend four cabal points to increase the range of this by six. Yep. So now it'll be in range of them, and it's just flat three portals from this power. Yep. Um, Aaron takes one. Oh, did that already go off? Yeah. Yep. I rolled it on the double 12. Ah, okay, yeah. Yep. So. On the, on the double six round. He dies. Um, and then Aaron's last power is Weaver. Fate, which is Inbound, which is going to go on Blue Blue Bricks as well. Um, cool. Uh, Big Bear, he is going to do a smite, which he's got plus two. That's done one, two, three smites. So eight, eight, eight five, six, seven, eight. So good. Oh, this would be three though. It is three though. Yeah. Yes, thank you. Um, I will do Bolt of Change. Which we get the plus two on an eight. So this one uh, just went off on an eight, goes off on a three. Yep. 
it does nine dice, five up does a model, and each model that dies does an additional. So I do four models. Four models. Which will kill two bases. Yeah. So six models total. Six models total? Yeah. So two, two dudes die, uh, three dudes die. Three dudes die and one's in the wound. Cool. And then the last power is Infernal Gateway. Um, almost, almost, almost. So with the plus two, it's only an 11. You'll be yeah. happy to hear if I rolled one higher, it would have been flat three. But it is a D3. Two. two. So one dude on a wound. One dude on a wound. And that is it. You'll be happy to hear is the psychic phase. <laughs> and a brutal one at that. Good it's work, my dude. Um, we're going to do the Terminator shooting into those. Mm -hmm. So I'll do the Soul Reaper first. Do you want a transhuman? I didn't get the plus uh, one yeah, I'll... It's, it's only one weapon that's going to be winning on the threes because I didn't get the plus one strength on bolters. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, that's all right. I won't do it. So no transhuman. We do hit all of the times with the plus one. Three still wins. Two, three, and then three. Three at me, three, five ups. No, uh, three total. Oh, three? Yeah, strength six. Yeah. Uh, cool. So how much damage? Just one. Just one. So Just one dude's died, one dude's on one. Um, and then we've got 32 bolter shots. Just wounding on fours. So that should be 36. Uh, 32. I'm glad this is a big dice tray. Mm. Um, Reroll the ones from either Aramon or the Exalted. Yeah. And forced wound. Which one's these on her? The Sangard or the. This is, yeah. I'll do the flames. It's a lot of bolter shots. It is. It is, it is. And they are AP2. AP2. Wasn't the best win, but 5, 10, 13. At 4 up saves. 13. Go on, pause. Uh, so. I need 5 wounds. So, 1's on 1 wound, so he's dead. We got him. 2, got him. We got him. Um, we'll do the flamers over there into the same guard. That's pretty big to lose those assault intercessors on that objective. You can't transhuman same guard, can you, before I nah. declared that? Yeah. Nah, I wish. Just to make sure I let you do it if you needed to. I mean, you can let me, but it'd be cheating. <laughs> so, 15, 18, 19. So, I'll just roll the 15, and then I'll do the 19 as well. So, that's the first batch. Um, so, you've got 10... Uh, exactly 10. Yeah. And then I need to roll those again with another 3. Get the other 15. So 10 plus. Plus, 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 whatever this is. 21. 21. But he is touching. He was touching cover, that one. So. Uh, you got your 2 up saves. 2 ups. Fail 1, he's gone. Uh, Let's probably just roll like a handful and see how you go. <laughs> Oh, I'll give it to roll you. Roll them all, roll them all. It's more exciting. Ah, oh, he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> Only just. Only yeah. just. Um, and that is it. I don't have any charges to declare. Uh, I did get... So, the two here for prowess. Yep. Um, I'll get another two for data intercept. Three for interrogate. Three for wrath. And just two for prowess. And that is over to you. So it was um, two for data. Two for data for those yep. two. Three um, for prowess. Two for prowess. I only killed the one unit. Yep. And three for wrath. Yeah. Because I got four or five blessings. And psychic so interrogation. Just three every round. Yep. Cool. Um, so we both get that. Got you up to four CP. So command phase. Did you spend any CP? Alrighty, so pretty uh, big no. turn there for uh, Thousand Suns. As you can see, the Eradicators uh, are down to one turn. left. I dare say that's the multi-melter. The Assault Intercessors got deleted off here, but 
for what uh, and then also Kairos Fate Weaver and the Flame has decided to decimate those Sangard that were up there which means that Tom also only scores four points on primary for turn two which is uh, yeah. massive yeah, yeah, at this yeah, point. Now, so of course, the gentlemen are back at different one, uh, uh, CP yeah. as well. I'll be updating that uh, at some point shortly. Well played, my dude. Uh, so, you do so really, what we've seen yeah, so from Jordan here is a massive push out this way with Fate Weaver coming in at the top no. here to really move down into this quarter. Out of range of that multi melter behind that obscuring line of sight. What's really smart play there from Jordan uh, for the deployment. Well. Now, here in terms yeah. of a response, I he would not be surprised right. if you see both bad. of the um, Redemptors yeah. move here and just lay down Scut. Just try and finish off Kairos Fate Weaver in one hit. Use that line of sight blocking that's uh, here yeah, to hide from the rest of the stuff down here and just really try and put as much pain on Fate Weaver as possible. Because uh, uh, of the oh, wound sorry, count, he, they ignore uh, obscuring for him, and they also, uh, the, uh, the even rules. though he's a character, can't actually be screened, I believe, because he has 18 wounds. Uh, and I'll just confirm that. Uh, feel free to get to I it quicker than me, chat, if you guys know 100%. Charge, yeah. Uh... Oh, thank uh, you so much. So I'm going to advance the Eradicator. Yep. Can he advance and shoot? Is he a soul? Nah. Nah. I will I believe he can still look out, sir, there. So right. it means he's going to have to Maybe clear out the um, yeah. Flamers first before targeting right. uh, Fate so Weaver, which is massive. Which is absolutely massive yeah. there. He can be targeted through obscuring. That's what I'm thinking of How there. So my apologies there, chat. To? So... Really what I anticipate that we might see is these Redemptors will come out and potentially deal with the Flamers and set up for uh, maybe if they're able to deal with one Redemptor taking out all the Flamers, which is a bit of a big what if, because it's you've got to be within range of that 24. There to be able to do that shooting and get all of what he's got onto that unit. Um, I'd be overcharging the macro and I'd be going for that three damage strength nine. Uh, I would be taking those mortals and then trying to kill them outright and then trying to then uh, be able to, Sengar even if you get them down to less than three models, you can then target Fate Weaver, which is uh, awesome. Weaver. So as long as he kills three out of this unit, he can then get to Fate Weaver. The rest of his movement, he really wants to start pushing down this side of the field. As you can see, the Sangard and probably Dante are moving down to that bottom right-hand flank. And then you've still got the attack bike and several units up in the bunker up the back here. Very similar to Mirror, what Jordan has got in his bunker. So from this point, uh, I do need to grab the secondaries uh, to update them. Uh, from what I could hear, Jordan did score points on all three of his. So now it's just really a matter of seeing what Tom is able to pull out for this round. But ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank everyone who is joining us for this live coverage from Coopcon uh, in Padstow, New South Wales in Australia. We have got the first round here. All three games today are going to be interesting matchups, interesting characters to see uh, what's going on uh, and having some fun tomorrow for the other three rounds. We're bringing you the top 16 or pairings from the top 16 players and with the top table at round six. So it's promising to be a great weekend of live Australian Trump Warhammer 40k yeah, competitive Trump tournament coverage. I hope you're able to join us for as much of it as you're able to. Ah, very interesting. We've just seen that Jordan has moved, uh, not Jordan, sorry, Tom, has moved one of those Redemptors this way. I think that's a smart play to split them both. That way he can't necessarily target either of them with some uh, of the yeah, other stuff. The so I think he's, he's going to be, and he's moving out those yeah. bikes, <laughs> uh, the attack magic. bike, he's so he's going to have to move out. around, of course. I used to just send him forward for Relentless. Um, nah, no, he just gets shot before he gets there. But yeah. let's see what he does with yeah, the rest uh, of his movement, go. what he does with Psychic and Shooting, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for joining us. got one land speeder and some scouts that do it turn one. And then... Or the death company. I need to jump on that, hey. Only problem is it's like into me at least. Anyway. It's easy for prowess. Yeah, because the scouts are only fire wounds and the speed is like.
seven or whatever it is. Just trying to think. Oh, I gotta move the salt intercessors. Salt intercessors. Yep. Guys, just gonna clear the end. Yep. Yeah, which a seven inch charge. not really going to be doing that much this turn, uh, this game. Do I long bomb in? Just roll the dice and then yeah, the dice aside. Just send it. You can do, you know, psychic if you advance still. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that. The only thing you can't do psychic is after you fall back. Yeah, you no. can do it in combat, you can do it after advancing. So I'll get the move 14, which won't quite get me there. So instead, we're going to just hide for a bit longer. Hide for a bit longer. Um, I'm just trying to deny you. Just the way you're positioning the the librarian. Just keep in mind I've got the, the three inch exploding mortals. The three and six. The mortals that it, like, if I target the dreadnought for instance, if, it, if you want him within three, he might get some splash mortals. On the Ah, uh, okay. Like I don't have anything, I mean obviously the flame is potentially can shoot, but. Let's see if I can. You know, one can be protected. So by looks, the sanguinary whatever. priest is going to try and YOLO yeah, charge like, into those up uh, flamers up in that top left hand corner Let's there. Uh, really three. interesting play to send a Sang Priest out like cool. that, but we'll see what he uh, uh, ends up pulling off with them, I reckon. Mad. Are they alright in combat at all? Hmm? Do they do much in combat at all? I mean, they've got... Like, if the unit stays alive, that's 12, 4, 16 attacks, strength 5, no AP, hitting on 4. Yeah. So they look, they got decent volume, which, when he's on a 3-up save... I mean, it could chip some wounds, but it's very unlikely to kill him. It's more the Overwatch that will hurt. Oh, yeah, that's a very fair point. Do you want him there with the potential for Overwatch? Yeah, actually, I I'm might just... to bring him back if you don't want to. I might just send him to there. Yes. Nice. Okay. Touch on the objective, because he's obsec, yeah? Yeah. Um, cool, 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 cool. Actually, is he within three? Oh, he was the dread. So he'd be able to move... Nah, so if I moved him around there... The lookout, sir? Three. Yeah. Not that it matters, more than wounds there, but... You know. Yeah, I'm just, you'll probably just get more <laughs> Um, Cool. Uh, so, yeah, doing the action there. So I've got one, two... And I don't have that one yet. So three objectives. Oh, you, don't three? Do, you don't do oh, the yeah, home yeah, one. It's just the... Yeah, yeah. And last turn you did one, two, three from memory. Yeah. So this turn two. So uh, two. No relentless. And then we'll see where we go with no prisoners. Bad. Um, cool, 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 cool. Uh, so psychic. Yep. I'm going to do um, Bail of Time on the Assault Intercessors there. Yep. So uh, we're all charged. Cool. Off on an 11. Yep. I'm pretty sure I'm too far to deny. I'm actually Kairos to be. He's, he's, just, there. he's just there. Um, yeah, we'll just do it with this guy. Yep. Actually, what's the other? Oh, yeah, the other card doesn't really matter to me. So, that was anyway. Cool. Uh, and then we'll just do Psychic Fortress, uh, cool. which goes off on a 9. Cool. Is Kyra in 24? I'm guessing not. Maybe. Just out. Cool. Easy. Cool, 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 cool. Shoe Sting. Um, um, 
look, we're just going to pump everything into Kyler. He's not lookout, so he's 22 wounds. Yeah, it's 22 wounds, so. Yeah. T7. So Red Boy's going to overcharge Plasma into him. Yep. Uh, for five shots. Good. Uh, minus one to hit still? No, he's too big for minus one. Uh, so all hit? They all hit. Yep. Uh, winning on threes. Uh, so four at. Uh, yeah. Saves them all. Loves them. Winning uh, on. Yep, yeah, threes, no re rolls. And then fives and sixes. Uh, so nothing. Okay. Storm bolters. Minus and sixes, take two, minus one. Oh, take two wins. It's always a little gun. Yeah, <laughs> uh, oh. So one shot on that. Okay. Uh, so hits on a three. Uh, top of a seven. Yep. Fours. Uh, so AP one. That's good. Loves it. And then the little gun. So he's on 20 so far. And the little gun, what do they do? <laughs> So the Redemptors are trying to plink off some damage um, off Fate Weaver and they're so chipping the some, but is it going to be enough? I don't think so. But we'll see what Redemptor. happens here, ladies and gentlemen. Yep. It's going to pop everything into the little guys, yep. I reckon. So overcharge Plasma again. Mm -hmm. Got a one shot. Oh, getting on hits. Uh, hits. Uh, moves. Gatling Cannon. Four. Be four to that one because they are minus one. So there's just one three in there. Oh yeah. Uh, so threes. T three. T four. T four. Uh, so, right. Yeah. Cool. Six threes. Cool. Pops the boy. They're one wound each. Yeah. The yeah. Cool. Storm bolters. So minus one. Yep. So no re rolls. Uh, T four. So fours. Uh, so one uh, minus one. And then D3 shots, two shots, both hit, uh, winning on threes. Oh, good. Loves it. Uh, very resilient to shooting. Um, Alright, cool. So, charges. I think I've just got one, really. I'll do the overwatch. So. Uh, 8 plus 9. They're going to be strength 6, 8. The flame? Strength 5. Strength 5? Yeah. Uh, Can you transfuse it yeah, in I'll overwatch? Transfer. I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure. Targeted by attack. I'll double That's check. Right. I'll just roll them anyway and yeah, then we'll figure it out. So it'll either be 3 or 4. Just grab the codex. Transhuman, 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 transhuman. Uh, when a unit is selected as a target of attack until the end of the fight, yeah, so it doesn't spe specify. Just five wounds for your troubles. Five? On three ups in cover. Five, three ups. Sorry. Oh, no, you were good. Sorry, bro. Just the one wound? Uh, just the one wound. Uh, so an 11 will do it. He loves it. So I'll pop over here. Yeah, well enough, really. We want to... Big charge there from the Assault Intercessor getting into those three Flamers. Ooh, by looks of those going to be... Oh, that's another... That's the unit of Assault Intercessors going in. The Incursors were the ones that died first up. So let's see how much uh, damage these guys are going to be able to do into the Flamers, which do have a worse save in melee compared to their shooting. I believe it's only a six-up save uh, for the Demonic there. Saves in close combat. So this is going to be a really good opportunity oh, for Tom like to try and clear thing. off another uh, Flamer unit um, here. All right, so Sergeant gets five... The rest of them will get four. four. 
Winning take four. Yeah, so winning on three. Uh, uh, so one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it's just a two there. Oh, two, yeah. yeah. I'm going to just roll these if that's all yeah, right with yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, it's all good. Okay. It Makes it easier. So we say that many, but we failed at least nine. Cool, indeed. And that wipes the unit of Flamers there, ladies and gentlemen. A good uh, um, response there against the Flamers, taking out the Incursors earlier nah, in the previous nah, that's all right. turn for Jordan, and no then worries. Tom's response has taken them that's back that. off the table. Yeah. Turn. End of your turn, you'll actually control that now as well. So you actually get three for oh, their yeah. intercept. And away we go. Ooh, I don't get relentless. Uh, how many points was that? For, so I killed one over there. You killed four more, so another 12 wounds. So I'm starting on one CP. You're starting on... Three? Three. Um, I'll hold two again. Part two was two CP. So we both gain one. So you're on four CP, I'm on four? Yes, I'm on 2 CP then. Oh, yeah. I spent Overwatch and uh, Reaver, I believe. Uh, yeah. So I hold two, 2 CP for at the start of this round, I'm up to 2 now. Yeah. So buffs are gone. Harriman's wounded. Man face. All righty, ladies and gentlemen. So let's update these scores for you for the players as for what they have got in battle round number two. So what we are looking at for Jordan to start off with in terms of the points. He only scored the four points on primary, but he did manage to score two points on the second part of the primary for both turns. So he's technically on eight points on primary at the end of battle round two. For Sorceress Prowess, he scored two points. Wrath of Magnus, again, he scored another three points there. Put him on six. Same with Psychic Interrogation, which means it puts him on... 22 points, um, which is a great start for him. Uh, now, oh yeah, going over go, to Tom's points go. in terms of what he has achieved. Now, they're doing um, no prisoners currently. I think they did 12 wounds two rounds in a row. Uh, so, so we'll do primary first. He is on 10 points. He scored three points on primary part two for Data Scry Salvage, as well as four points uh, there. Then uh, Relentless Assault, he did get four points there. I believe he is on two points for No Prisoners and then another three points for Raise Banners. So this means that's going to put Tom on a 19 points, which means that there is only three points between these two players, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, to update you with the CP counts at the top of Battle Round 3, I can tell you that Jordan is starting the Battle Round with one CP in the tank. And then Tom is also starting off back with 3 CP again. So really interesting. We're seeing a lot of back and forth here. Even though the players aren't necessarily scoring primary in their command phase, they're scoring that primary during the... Um, Just the priest. What should we call it? During the... Uh, trying to think of it. During the end of the turn when they're on the objective. So they're pushing their opponents off, scoring those points back. So... To, to looking at this, the Blood Angel is scoring more primary points at this point compared to the Thousand Suns. However, the Thousand Suns are scoring more secondary points compared to the Blood Angels, which is doing more for them. So still a really close game going into it now. What we can see here is we are starting to see some movement. We're starting to see some of the Thousand Suns rubric marines moving out uh, and about. Because uh, right now, Good. it's kind of like this still for the players, right? And so, towing on with the rubrics to take that off the same guard that are there or whoever is camping on that objective. Uh, you've still got these two Redemptors, which are split, which means it's going to be important. Now, 
The important thing is the Sang Priest is probably within three inches of that Redemptor, which will help the Sang Priest survive a bit further. You've still got that lone Eradicator sitting there who may be able to do some damage to Kyra's Fate Weaver if he gets within range and if Jordan lets him live. You've still got the attack bike up here for Tom. But then you're starting to see the Infernal Master move up. You've got the Scarab and Cold Terminators are still sitting down at the back here, not really doing too much. They're kind of holding down this fire lane and will be able to potentially help deal with those Assault Intercessors this turn. What else we are also seeing is probably some movement in terms of the flying units. So maybe it's Aramun on disc or the uh, Exalted Sorcerer on disc or the Zangor Enlightened on disc being able to slingshot up onto an objective to contest it to stop Tom scoring some primary points there in his turn, ladies and gentlemen. But this is shaping up to be a great game. I hope you are enjoying it. And the guys are doing great for being on time in terms of being able to be... Uh, they're getting through their turns at about half hour pace, which is really awesome to see for these players, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you're all enjoying the coverage. If you do want to see more live content from myself, whether it's hobbying or more tournament events, live streams, make sure you follow the channel. It'd be greatly appreciated. That way you get notified when I am live on here as well. And best of all, it's free. Uh, and so we're going to be live all weekend with all six rounds. This is only round one. We've got another two rounds going today as well, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for joining us. Hope you're enjoying the live coverage from here in Padstow in Australia for CruitCon 2022. Uh, And I believe we just got the bird in the flames. So Dreadnought walks eight, is that right? Pardon? Dreadnought's going to walk eight inches. Eight inches, yep. So Dreadnought's going to be here. What's the charge to where the flamers are? Yep. So Burb, as long as he's back. of that, oops, 18 inches of your Dreadnought, more than 20 from that, and the Flamers are going to advance, just chuck that in there, so 16. I'll just put him on there. Put him in there. You can intervene six with the... Uh, uh, three. Three? Yeah. Can you do more with the strap? No. No, it's only Saint God. So, I'm hoping he's dead, but just in case. Put him back three. So, 20, 18. Um, his wound count. And then we are good to go for Psychic. Um, let's do interrogation to start. Yep. Keep those. So I'll get a CP. Yeah. Um, so I'll just try quickly try and deny that. I think he'll be out. That's worth. Oh, out? Because he's all the way back here. Oh, back I think here. he'll be Sorry, able to deny pretty much everything but that. And the Kaka Demonic as You're well. You're on it. Sorry, that's my bad. That's all good. And maybe Big Bird's out? Yeah, so just big birds and that and this side of the board, but the rubrics and that you can all deny. Yep. Um, ba -dum -bum -bum. Ba -dum -bum -bum. um let's do Aaron Man. Oh, let's do Kakadamine first, so let's actually get that out of the way. Goes off, so that's my malediction. It'll be minus one strength on his shooting. Yep. Uh, then what have we got? Yeah, we've got a few things. Do have an auto pass? Um, he's going to do minus one to hit on the Terminators. Yeah, master. Which they get. Uh, then we're. Uh, maybe Big Bird. That's them, that's them. All of that to do. I mean that. Um, but I'm not So, are they. The intention was to be within three to not get shot, yeah? Look out, sir. Yep. So I'll do Big Bird next. I'll do Infernal Gateway. Yep. 
Um, I'm going to re-roll that. So it goes off on a 9, there's a 3 for the battle round. Uh, yeah, so D3 to the Dreadnought, that's the first target, and then the your friend is the second target. One each. Um, I'm going to use the re-roll die on the one that targets the Brace. Yep. So he takes 3. Yep. So fill that page. Uh, so he takes 2. Cool. So he's on 2 and the Dread just took 1. Uh, Dread just took 1. Yep. Is on two. Cool. Uh, I'm gonna bolt of change. I'm gonna. Ooh, and I can't reroll that. Unfortunately. What does it go? So that'd be a six of fails. And I already did a reroll. So that's unfortunate. But we'll do a slide next. Ooh. Already done a reroll. The perils. Is one more wing. I'm big bird. Big bird. Do you want to just flip that to a one for me? The one, the two. Sure. Thank you. Uh, what? Um, we'll do the rubric back. This one that can only see your fellow man. Yeah. Um, we'll just do a smite. So we do get it on a seven, and I am. It's a plus one with the cult with the detachment plus one. So yeah. So you're denying on a nine. Then. Uh, so denying on a nine. Yep. Uh, which is all done. He's living. Done. Diddly did it. Staying alive. Um, we'll do a smite. So this one's going to have to target the dread, which is all right. Actually, what's the range? Um, I'm going to do my cult power, which I need... Lots of mortal wounds, bro. They're scary, man. So this... <laughs> I need to... <laughs> I need to increase the range on this one. Yeah. And it'll do D3 and then 1. But do you want to deny? Because you don't have a deny still range. So that's a 9 with the plus 1 for the detachment. Yep. Yeah. No. Nah. So nah. I do add 4. So that's those miles down. So it'll do D3 and he just takes 1. So you can roll his 1 if you like. But the dread... Uh, no. So, so Dreadnought take takes one. just one just on one. the Dready Boy. Um, we'll do, which we'll do Smite there next. Oh, oh. no. <laughs> that is unfortunate. Uh, the Peril's on him. Three. So mm. one and a base. Do, 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 do. Where do we go? So who's going to have a bonus move? Someone's got an order of power. An order pass, maybe bonus models, I just make that flat three. Probably make that flat three. Or do that again. Let's start off here, we're going to do Gaze of Hate. Mm -hmm. This targets your can target. Character. I'll take the perils, i.e. keep it, so my damage on me is two. Um, it's going to target your friend. Yep. Uh, four ups and more. So two. Two. Two, six ups. Come on. Oh, one. So really? he dies. He's dead. So that's five wounds on Aaron. And he just took two Z's on three. Um, next, what do we do? Do we kill the dread? I need to deal with that. So what I'm going to do, he sinks his fire still next. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to use that three cabal points I mentioned earlier. Yep. To do the one where I can use their line of sight to target through there. Yep. Um, it did roll a unknown, unmodified nine or more. So yep. nine dice and a five up as a more. So it's five, seven. Brutal. Targeting your thing, just two of them, please. Three of them. Cool. So he's dead. So that's two for prowess and another two there. And his last power Ooh, is going to be spiked. Yep. With that's really spikes. big there. Uh, uh, taking five. out that last eliminator. One. Uh, sorry, eradicator. Really big uh, there for Jordan to it? eliminate yeah. something that's going to threaten Kairos fate with a pretty heavily. Do, 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 do. Cool, cool, cool. Um, and then all that's left is up here. So, Aramin's going to do the move again on the Terminators. Yeah. Which we get. So, they're going to do another five inches. To there. What's the AP on your Sangard? Uh, so axes will be, we're around three now. Yeah, it's going to be assault, I think. Yeah, assault doctrine. So axes will be AP three, swords will be AP four. Okay. Yeah, uh, swords are strength five. So axes Aaron's going to do the invuln save on the Terminators, yeah. which we get. I think it's my blessings up to three as well. So that's good. 
And then Araman probably does Doombolt. For his last pass. Got a few dudes that are in seven, so Araman's gonna do a Doombolt. Yeah. Do those tests because he's Araman. I'll just plus one it. So it's gonna be three. It's gonna be four. Um, I'll just read the test. Cool. So it just does three mortal wounds to them. He's going away. And one yeah. more base. Could do more, but then it's just gonna make the charge harder. So that's fine. Aramin's last cast is done. Terminators just won't cast. Because I've already done enough blessings, they just risk of perils. So that is it. That is it. Heaps of cabal points left with nothing to do, but that's okay. Probably could have done that. Cool, that's it. Um shooting phase. So all the flame is into your dread. Yep. Plus the 12. Yep. So, looking for fives here. So, six saves. Uh, four, up, four up. Take four up. Take two, and you're a three up base here. Yeah. Uh, so, I take two, two moves. A third. Out there. Terminators don't want to shoot because we're just going to ruin my charge. So we are on two charges. Send it. They are loving it. They needed a set. So it will put him based there. Those based almost. Back for re rolls. I'm up second more, but I think I just stack bodies. Just stack bodies on. So he'll be out anyway, but that's alright. Um, cool. So, my partner's. Yeah. Oh, we're closer to that model. Currently, this game is turning into just trading off units for objective points here, ladies and gentlemen. So I expect there'll be a lot of retaliational combat coming yeah, from Tom up. in his next turn out. against Jordan. Yeah. But we'll see what happens yeah, with look, these the Scarab Occult Terminators important. down the bottom not, there against the Assault difference. Intercessors. Um, I am off six. I've already got the objective. If that changes your decision. Yeah. No, I'll save Do the it. CP. Save the CP? Cool. So you're still on three? Or yep. four now? Uh, four. Yeah. Um, alrighty. So... It is seven swords, one sword's out. Is there anyone wounded? No. Uh, so the swords. So two, three, four, five, six, seven. I didn't do the plus one hit, so threes, no re-rolls. Yeah. He said no transhuman, so it's least to win. No. Um, that many at AP3, two damage. So it's eight saves. Eight, eight saves. saves. AP3, two damage. Bye bye. So they, they, they are dead. They are dead. They dead. Um, so the ones at the back will go. Cool. Um, that is it. So, I think you can only score with max three on the data scry thing. I do have all the objectives, but I believe it's max three. Yep. Uh, yeah, to a max of three. And so Buck Walter, three thank you so much for the yep. follow and welcome to the chapter. Great to have you with us. Prowess, I killed that and that. Yep. So that is four points for Prowess. Wrathful, Max, and Interrogation we've got. And then it is over to you. Uh, oh, sorry, four points for prowess. Yep, for the, getting... uh, that dude and your... For the Eradicator and that. Wrath will be three, because I did... 
least three blessings, which beats you. I didn't fail my malediction. Oh, you well, Peace. man. All right, I'm gonna do a bit of work this time. Yes. I think. Unfortunately, you will hold nothing. Well, you hold nothing. one. But yeah. Nothing for the points. Brutal. All righty, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so yeah, a big turn there for the thousand signs. As you can see, there was no eradicator uh, so left in the middle so there. That got, got taken off. Is it just the the Scarab Occult Terminators Except took off the Assault Intercessors. My army basically is and then uh, you've got uh, oh yeah. not not much left so for the Blood right? Angels. You've got some stuff that's tied up the back here. You've got Dante, uh, uh, the Librarian, and so some Sanguinary face. Guard here. Some more Sanguard down the here. Then you've um, also got the two Redemptors. With this Redemptor did take some damage down the bottom Man, here. It's by looks is on eight wounds, so it's uh, not bracketed CP yet. For... It needs to hit six to hit a bracket. So no, it means that Fate Weaver's Actually, still yeah, gonna cop a lot then, of firepower this turn. And now? if he's able to yeah. deal with um, Fate Weaver with days. both oh. dreads and then use them to kind of push his way oh. forward oh. and Use this Redemptor to go down here. Move forward six and then potentially go in for the charge as well. Will spell disaster for Fate Weaver. Like, if you if the Redemptor gets in combat with Fate Weaver, it could kill him. After doing all the shooting, it could kill him. So, that'd be really, really important for Tom to try and achieve. So, as you can see, the Redemptor is looking as though it's going to go forward. Which is an interesting move. But also the fact, because of how many wounds Fate Weaver is on... Well, not even that. He's over 18 wounds, so he can be shot through obscuring. It doesn't really matter that this piece right here is obscuring terrain. Uh, but what Tom does need to deal with... Oh, by looks, it's just a 12-inch charge just out. So it means that he's going to have to just unload shooting-wise onto him. So the Sangard really right here have to push out now. He really has to try and deal with both the Terminators uh, and these guys right here cool, cool, cool. to be able to take back some objectives. Okay. This means that by moving on to some objectives, he's going to, again, deny Jordan primary yeah. uh, and also score points on the secondary for yeah. himself yeah. as well. Uh, but ladies and gentlemen, this is turning out to be a really interesting game to see how Blood Angels go into Thousand Suns. I hope you are enjoying the coverage. And we're just going to turn back to the players and hear what Tom is doing in his turn. Alright, he's going to move six. And he's going to move two up. Sounds good. Leaving the Terminators alone. Yeah, <laughs> it's, uh, I've played the old Terminator brick before. And they even with the... could be okay, because you can kill a fair few of them, but, like, if one model lives... Guaranteed charges here. That's what we love. Banners with him. Is he's opposite? Uh, no. Nah. He won't control it just yet. But if you control it at the end of your yeah. turn, you're all good. Yeah. Which I think that Dreadnought hopefully punches all <laughs> flamers to death. Oh, it'd be a waste of 200 points. <laughs> um, cool, 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 cool. 
As long as you punch at least three flames to death, you get the objective. Actually, do you mind if I just quickly uh, advance Dante instead? Because I just realised I gave the M tap the master re-rolls, but... Oh, good. You do what you want. Um, so, just going to advance him. So Look at him. Zoom He really there. wanted that advance. Over there. So, um, cool. So, shooting. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to go the old knifey spoonie back into these. <laughs> um, so, overcharge plasma into him. Yep. So, four... Four shots. Uh, he's not minus one to hit. Uh, so three damage. Um, and then Gatling Cannon. So four. Uh, and then fives and sixes. Uh, so two. We're good. Uh, Storm Bolter. Fives and sixes. Nah. And then get uh, Rocket Pod. Sorry, one shot. When uh, hits, doesn't doesn't pass. Cool. How many units are there? There's two. There's the green and the pink. Ah, uh, okay, yep, so they're two different units of... Ah, uh, yeah. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Ah, man. Ah, sick. So, shooting. These guys are going to... Yeah, I've never played with the clock before, so... That's, I mean, I think we'll finish in time anyway, so yeah. I'm, not, I'm not particularly fussed. So these guys are going to just shoot at those boys over there. Uh, actually, let's do some pot shots at the Termies. Sounds good. So this squad into them. Yep. So twos, re-roll on the ones. Uh, minus one hit from the oh, tanky power. Yep. But re-roll on still. And then winning uh, T4 still. So fours. Uh, so three at neg one. Loves it. And six. Um, and then these guys are just going to do it at um, those rubric for Marines. Sounds good. Um, actually, no, I'll skip that. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with movement, so yeah. All right, cool. So, you got the other oh yeah, the redemptor, sorry. You have to shoot it if you don't want to. Um, it's not bracketed, right? It's still just everything into these boys, just in case. Yep. Soften them up. Uh, so, they're three da three wounds. Yep. So, uh, uh, look, yeah, just, just do normal. normal. Uh, one shot. Doesn't hit. Uh, like then. you did the one shot. <laughs> I didn't do the overcharge. Um, so, no minuses. No. And then T4, mm -hmm. threes, uh, three extra wings, uh, then Storm Bolters, fours, uh, two, good, that's it, and then Rocket Pod, three shots. Cool. Okie dokie. Um, cool, 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 cool. Where did I put that dice? Oh, it's all the way. Just grab that. Okie dokie. Some charges. Charges, sending it. Um, now you have enough to interrupt, eh? Yes. I'm not going to interrupt with Rubik, so it's not interesting. They don't. Like hitting on fours, they've only got one actual weapon and it's all combat weapons. Okay. If you charge with Termies, I'll interrupt. Okay, the... I will do the overwatch on that. So... Uh, 46 plus the 12, so let's set aside. So 14 plus 12. So let's do 12 and then 12 plus 2. Yep. So 5, got 4 so far. And then 14... 
five, six, seven, eight. Eight total. Eight total? On your four uh, Eight four ups. Ah, uh, ooh. Five wounds. Six wounds, eh? Six wounds. Well, he's bracketed. Brutal. He's going from hidden well to hidden bad. Um, we're going to do the sand guard over he's here. He's going to do his charge, though, don't forget. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's what he just took all that shooting for. Uh, he's a hero. He wanted to get a in. hero. He did roll a nine, though, which is auspicious for Siege. Yeah. He could be a traitor. <laughs> he could be up a legion. We'll find out soon. <laughs> Doesn't he turn people into spawn? Probably. And, like, in terms of in law or in... In so this. I saw a rule or something like He used that. to maybe, there used to be one of the, like the one where I did the five ups and yeah. the dead models do bonus, that used to get a spawn and it just did D3 damage. Oh man. Uh, these Sangard are going to go into both squads. Yep. So yep, yep, yep. For both, I know it's like a, so that'll be a five with the plus one into that squad yep. and then that one I'm going to say a seven. Cool. So a six on the dice. Uh, which will do it. Loves it. Do, 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 do. Okay, okay, so and these guys into there. Auto cut on. Um, I've got no interrupt, so it's all you. Okie dokie. Uh, we'll start with the Dreddy. So here we get six attacks. Mm -hmm. Hitting on fives. So two go through. Wounding on twos, but uh, so they'll be AP four of so two deaths. Uh, D3 plus three. Yeah, just. Yeah, so at least four damage. So we kill two? Yep. Which is an unfortunate number. Mm. Easy, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. You guys like, you have fun up here? Yeah. Loving nice. it. Oh, it's good. First it's time good. running a thousand suns here. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's, oh. it's a bit of a scary one. If you can get in combat, it's good. If you can't get in combat, nah, it's he's done. I've been like 20.1 inch charge. <laughs> I'm like, oh. You move 8 and 12, 20.1. Um, so then I'll just go with this squad over here. Yes. So cool. Cool. He's going to split it 50 50. Is that the uh, plan? Yeah, 50 50. Cool. So do you need to stay within 6 of down? Are they baseline hit they're on 2s? The, they're the chapter master Do they baseline hit on 2s? Nah. nah they get do the you plus need one to be within 6 of him to get the plus 1 to hit then? Actually, and maybe you just put one there, so yeah. then you keep the plus one to hit. Yeah. yeah, and then you'll be half inch, half inch. Yeah. Keep your plus one to hit, and then more likely to kill them. So what have we got? So three swords on one side, two axes and a sword on the other. Yep. So I'll start with the swords, so 15. They should all be wounding the same, because they're at least strength five or six, yeah? And the AP yeah. is at least three. Uh, so three for the axes. Swords are going to be So it'll all get me to my inbound, so you can just roll it off. Oh, okay, yeah. So it's not going to make a difference? Yeah, yeah. AP3 gets me to inbound. Yeah. Perfect. Alright, two, three rolling ones. All hit. Got stuck there for a sec. Uh, twos. Drop a couple. Uh, so that many on your invol. Do you mean to just roll in if that's what oh, you yeah. do? Oh yeah, that's all good. Just made it up for this. Fives. They did. Cool. So that was the greens? Uh, yep. Yep, close to ones. Roll. And then... The other squad. Yep, yep, yep. So these guys are re-rolling ones because <laughs> they need Dante. Uh, all here. And then we'll be on twos. So one, two, three, five. So go with those ones. Cool, five ups again. They're all dead anyway. Cool, they're dead. Dead. Um, 
Um, oh, that's yeah. pretty big there from the same guard to wipe out a unit of rubrics. Up, that's really important. Half a unit did that, so a full unit definitely kills. Yeah. I'm comfortable with that. Uh, so yeah, pile in. I want them touching the point, so. Yeah, so you just have a chill. And then maybe extend them out a little bit. Yep, and yep. Jordan just speeding up time, oh, the happy to take the models off. Already. The oh, through the wall, yeah. And yeah, Tom really Ooh, making a good counter offensive move there, trying to take as well? uh, some you want to stay models combat? off that are obsec for uh, Jordan, we'll really putting him a, the a bit well, on the back foot, yeah. trying to punching? get some He's of those got stay, five obsec to move twos. some of those infantry, some of those key two, pieces that he needs to keep on scoring some points here and using that same guard as the forward threat that they are. So punches with this. With a single wound? No AP on your Redemptor. Lovely. Loves it. Cool. Cool. cool, um, cool. I don't have any morale. Uh, I do get Relentless. That's good. So Relentless for two. You killed two Flamers. Oh, Relentless six. for four. For four, sorry, yep. He um, killed two Flamers and six wounds. And 15 rubrics. And he did the action there, so I've got one and two. You won't oh, have that won't one have that because one. he didn't have offset. One. So you get one for that. One for that. Uh, no prisoners though. You killed 10, 30 wounds of rubrics and six of the flame. So 36 wounds. 36 wounds? Yeah. And I think we might have maybe not counted when I exploded my rubric because that was that battle round. So I add two for me blowing myself up as well. Yeah. So 38 wounds I got you on for that one? Yeah. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Um, um, so going up the next battle rounds. Do I spend the CP? I did for Overwatch, so that's, oh, that's all good. Uh, so scoring it up, I'll have one, two, I'll have another. It's a mad set up, dude. Nice. Uh, eight for that. Um, I set the link around. I was like, oh, guys. <laughs> You're starting at five CP, is that right? Uh, yeah, yeah. We haven't used any strats, so I haven't been able to do Vect with Kairos. So, and uh, we need to put his Relentless. We've got another 38 wounds. 38 wounds. And you held nothing, but you get, you said, two, one. For the test. Cool. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. So, battle rounds. You're up to three. Um, you're up to six, AP, sorry. I'm up to three. No That's way. contested. Got one, two, you got three more. Yep. Um, oh, I do have all more. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. Right. So, I've got the updated Strong scores more. going in to uh, battle round four. Uh, Let's get this turn updated. These guys are making impeccable time. They've got just under an hour to go. And so, what we're really looking at here, in terms of CP, we'll start it off. Tom has actually got five at the top of battle round four with... Get the reroll die. Sorry. Jordan's actually got two, and Tom's actually got five. Oh, so he killed six Cabal, so down to 13. And then, updating primary. So at the end of battle round three for all of Tom's points, not Tom, sorry, um, Jordan's. Not too much, not too much at all. So we've been going for about an hour and a half, hour 45, two hours, somewhere around there, two hours actually. Yeah, so, uh, <laughs> not too much though. We still got an hour left in this round. So, you're gonna move so in terms of points for Jordan, he managed to score another four points that. on the first part of primary yeah, and then three points in the second like part to put him up to 15 Who? points. Demons? In terms of sorceress powers, he scores another four points last around? turn. How many so, it means that here? he's going to be uh, on four. six okay. for Wrath of Magnus. Goes up to nine by scoring it. Three points. Same with Psychic Interrogation. So that really means he's up on 24, 34, 39 points now at the end of battle round three. So really not a high scoring game this one, ladies and gentlemen, by the looks of the players. In terms of the points for Tom, he only scored one more point on primary. So he's only on 11 points on primary. So he's falling behind. He got another four points on relentless result, putting him at eight. In terms of... Uh, no prisoners. He's got another 38 wounds. Um, so what that means is that puts him so over the threshold. Because what's that going to be? 24, 54, 60, so 62. So he's going to be on seven points. 
than for no prisoners at this stage. And then Welcome. raise the banners he is sitting on Welcome. four points, which means Welcome for a five. total of 30 points. So what we are looking at is Jordan is really pulling ahead there by nine points right now. So in this turn, what I would be anticipating seeing, um, and we're just hearing some psych psychic interrogation going off, so I'll turn off the commentator cam so you can see the dice result of that. I'd be expecting the Redemptors to try and finish off Fate Weaver as best as possible. You got the Librarian still alive there for Tom. You've got the two bricks of Sangard that just deleted two whole units of Rubric Marines. And the Warlord, you've still got the attack bike up the back as well, holding that back objective. But there is a character that's decided to move over there. Uh, there's a whole heap of units on this back objective for Jordan, as well as a character down there with the Scarab Occult Terminators. So really, I reckon uh, that the Scarab Occults are going to go in to the same guard that are here. Uh, and then we'll see what happens with Kairos Fate Weaver, but I reckon Fate Weaver is going to stay planted on that objective there. I don't really think there's too much else for Jordan to do except to try and just trade off as best as he can against Tom and hope that he can hold out until turn five to score as many points as possible and deny Tom as many points as possible as well. So just going to pass it back to the players as Tom continues his movement as we see another character. I think that's the uh, exalted sorcerer moving up over there onto that forest to be uh, within range of that redemptor uh, as well to do some psychic powers uh, as well. But ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us. It's awesome to have you uh, all with it. us watching some live Warhammer 40k from Australia. Hope you're enjoying the coverage. So 17. Yeah. Run away. Closer, unfortunately. That's all right. And what is that? Green test screen that. Hmm, little operations, it's hard. They're just going to fall back. Nine to that, to not get charged through the wall by your big speedy dreadnought. Yep. Turn me to done. Demonic, what blessings are there? None, but if that dies, okay, do one blessing. And all mortals. He's all the way back there, that's fine. So, ooh, what do I just get for them? Everyone's just gonna hang out there. They should make that charge anyway. And then he just does immortals. And then how do I do that? I might not get in. That's all right. It's impossible. It's not actually going to be possible to do outside of three without taking two off. So they'll just yep. cop some splash damage. And then we are good, I believe, to do the psychic phase. Just make sure Aram and Steve can see. And then, um, interrogation. Yep. So I don't get a CP, but I do pass it. Uh, so three for interrogation. Uh, what did you get on it? I rolled a seven, but he's outside of the nine. Ah, uh, yeah, true, yep. yeah. I've just put him in an obnoxious spot. You wizard. <laughs> I've done this a few times, so fortunately. Um, now, ooh, ooh, that's right. So, he's going to smite. We get it. I'm yep. going to spend one CP to make it flat three damage. I'm yep. going to spend four Cabal points to do an additional D3. So, it'll be three plus D3. <laughs> he's dead. Need to guarantee it. Brutal. Need to guarantee it. And then, needing to guarantee that as well. That's one way to do it. I'm going to do Final Gateway. Yep. So, it's about around four. 
So that's actually a 13. So it'll do three and three. Yep. So three mortal wounds? Yep. So does he explode? No. And three to the Libby as well, and three of him. Oh, that's um, big for the Redemptor to blow up. Now. And let's see what how much damage ends up being taken by other units as well. Do you want to try and deny the 11? Yeah, I'll try and deny the 11. You've got two, and he's probably dead soon. Um, D6 into your Sangard. Big six. Ooh. So, three dead boys there. Um, which is actually kind of a problem. I've been too efficient in Psychic Phase. Um, and I'm just out of 18 there. That's alright, maybe I just don't try, oh, and no, I definitely need to score that. So, Big Burb is going to do. If only he rolled one further on the advance. That's alright. Say a kill, not the whole unit, but Aaron's gonna do it. I I'm gonna do the targeted mortal wound power. Yep. Which fails. Oh actually with the plus will go off, but I'm just not gonna select a target for it. Yep. I'm just doing it so I can do it again with Aramin. Um old matey over there. It's gonna do a smite. This is super. This is a twelve. So you can't deny it. I yep. just need a two. I'm gonna use my reroll die. <laughs> I save my litany. So Three? Do it. On the Sengar? Yeah. No, no, this is from the Sorcerer. Into the him. So he's dead. So he just dies. So that's five points for prowess. Um, oh, that is massive yeah, there yeah. for Jordan, scoring some points there. He's going to do Synchrous Firestorm, which we get. Not a super version. So a six up will do a mortal into the Sengar. Assuming yeah. they're still in range. Just do one Sengar exit. One Sangar takes it. And then his last power. Still within two. Uh, I'll leave that guy there. Yeah. Um, -dum -ba -dum. And then his last power is just going to be... What do I have? Well, two doesn't cast. Two means doesn't cast. I can probably generate a CP there. Let's say to love. How many gaze of hate? Which we get. Four up to a mortal. So one more dead. Sengard. Yep. Um, from that unit again, so one more dead. Yep, one more dead. Yep. Uh, so I've done Witch Fires. I need to do at least one Blessing, which I can do. I need to do my Malediction back there. Yep. I get the Malediction, minus one strength on their shooting. So I've done one Malediction, a bunch of Witch Fires. Araman needs to do at least one Blessing. So he's going to do Doombolt to start. Which goes off from the seven. So it just does flat three, so he is dead. He's dead. Aramin's going to do the better inborn save on the Termies, which we get, and then Aramin's going to double move, which needs a seven, six on the die, so he's rerolling it because he rerolls tests, so he yep. gets it. So he's going to bounce way, away, away, way, away, away, and then all that's left is them, but he's four cabal points to do the psychic action that generates a CP. So, so I do. So, so, so. So, so far, what have you got? Um, I've got interrogation. Yep. I got seven on prowess because I killed them and the character, which was a psychic character. So, another seven for this turn? Yep. I'll get three for wrath because I did two blessings, one malediction, a whole bunch of witch fires. Wow. And data intercepts will be three again because I'll get that and those, but I've got to try and kill them. So, yep. let's do the heavy. Sorry, for Reroll, that he wouldn't have been in that reroll anyway. But, uh, two at MP3. Yep. So four. Kills uh, one boy. Which one? Uh, Sengar. Yep. Um, and then the bolters. So there's 32 bolters. Uh, that is. I'll just roll it in two batches so I don't have to pick up more dice. That's half. Threes and then fours. Uh, so seven. That's big two, so three ups. So seven, three ups. Uh, one more dude, one, dead. Dead. one damage? Yep. yep. One and the other half of the batch. Oh, 
just to be in it. Uh, another six. Six. Uh, one more dead. Another one dead. Cool, cool, cool. Um, and then a charge from the yep. Termix. Should do it. Where's the back guy getting get to? So the back guy gets to here. Everyone else can just grab it. Dante intervenes. Three. Three. Alright, so. Alright, swords. Sort of swords. Um, pile into their all. Uh, eight swords. So this is half the swords. Let's see how many four up saves those same guard can make this turn, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that scary master. Um, so they're all wounds. So so far it's seven wounds at AP three. So four ups. Uh, so seven. Yep. Uh, that's a squad, I think. Three left. Yeah. So don't have to roll the second half. Um, I don't really mind which ones are on the objective. Whatever. Uh, and that is it. So it'll be three for the tertiary. Yeah. We've got the Prowess, the Wrath, Interrogation Squad up. So I got you on, uh, yeah, so three. 13. Yeah, but 13, 12, 12. Uh, 13, 12, 12. 13, 12, 12. Yeah. yeah. Um, all right, so coming to my turn, um, I don't score any primary at all. Wow, that was a massive turn, ladies and gentlemen, for the Thousand Suns. As you can see, the Redemptor Dreadnought and the Librarian that were here both got taken out. You can also see the unit of Sangar that was there got taken out as well as the unit down so here from both shooting, psychic, and, no and assault um, yeah. from the uh, Dante probably picked Scarab Assault Terminators. You've yeah. got the Dante, but Tom, probably... what he's got left? He's got, well, no by way. looks, the attack bike is gone as well. He's got the Redemptor Relentless. up the top there, and I Dante. Mean, Whereas, there. Oh, looking yeah. at what Jordan has got left, he's got a significant amount of, amount of stuff <laughs> left, where it's a uh, couple of HQs in terms of probably the oh, Exalted yeah, Sorcerer that, and Kairos Fate Weaver, two, the so Infernal nine, Master, I believe, nine. up the top seven. there. So and then, no, that's probably... Uh, that's Araman down the bottom there with the Zangor Enlightened, the uh, Chaos Spawn... The Thousand yeah. Suns rubrics and then a couple of flamers left. That's pretty much there. it uh, that Jordan has got left. So it's been a heavy point, trading be game. Yeah. However, the Thousand yeah. Suns have just been able to trade a so lot better into so the so Blood Angels, respectively. So yeah, we're going to see what happens from here, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it'd be so interesting to see what soon. the result is we'll get getting in, uh, in at the end of game. Battle Round 4, same at the end of Battle Round 5 as well. I hope you're all enjoying the content, ladies and gentlemen. Cool. So... Oh, tap the Master rerolls on himself. Yep. Um, and this guy's just going to pump everything he can into... Just plasma. Just plasma. So, D6 shots. Overcharging, sorry. Um, you know, threes. Uh, two mortal wounds on me. So I'll just mark them in a sec. Uh, wounding on twos. Yep. So, three. Do you want to CP roll? You got seven CP. Uh, yeah, one up. Cool. And four. Step. He's dead. So you get relentless. As long as Dante doesn't die. Um, and then, yeah, we'll just do You can do part. a melter pistol shot to whittle them down a bit first if you want to. It's only six inch range. Um, yeah, you could. You can see that, dude. Yeah, why not? Let's do it. Oh, no prisoners yeah, anyway. Anyway. But it's, that was a three, so that's okay. Yeah. Yeah, it was meant to be a three. Uh, <laughs> two. Twos. 
Yeah. Loves it. <laughs> um, and yeah, let's just do the charge. Yep. So that'll be what six inch plus one, so five inch. Uh, which will do it. He uh, he just saunters in. He just he saunters he in. Hurrying, he's he like, uh, slow. Was a bit just, tired. <laughs> just the right speed. So just in there. So you, do you want to be outside of intervention? Yeah. Cool. Um, cool. So he'll get eight attacks. Mm -hmm. uh, hitting on two, three rolling. And then wounding on two. Yes. So I assume I owe you five up saves. Uh, yeah, eight, five ups. Kills four of them. Not exactly the unit there, but let's see if Dante is going to be able to survive the um, retaliation The attack backs don't really matter to me there. Can you fight again with him or anything like that? No, I wish. Fair enough. Um, so do you get Relentless? Yep. Uh, no prisoners, just you just got another eight wounds. Yeah. I think that probably, yeah, that brings you up to 70 total I've got you now, I think. Yeah. We'll double, I'll double check the counting at the end with you, but I think I've got you up to 70 wounds. I'm on 70 as well. Yeah, cool. Um, and then banners, I'd stop scoring for a while now. Um, oh, actually, the banner still stays up. Yeah. You didn't take that over, so. Yeah, so you got three, one, a couple turns of one. I think we've missed doing it. Well, I've missed doing it once. Uh, so I should be on five, I think. Yeah. Oh, sorry, no, I haven't missed it yet. Three, one, one. Cool. Oh, unless. Let me just double check. Last turn. Yeah, one. Yep. Yep. Cool. Um, cool. 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 Uh, round five. Uh, oh, just morale on those dudes. They unfortunately don't take. They don't take ability. They automatically pass Chaos, morale. Bro. They're pretty good. They're the, they are, I mean, they're, they're yeah, they're just, yeah. I've always thought, not like not to just hurt my army, but yeah. I always thought it would make more sense that if you fail morale, the psychic can't pass the same. Because he's not. Just a, like, yeah. you could have done a fly, anyway, doesn't matter. You could have done a fluffy away. Just obsec rubrics, man. That's... Term yeah, is, yeah, they're brutal. So um, we'll hold more in the last turn. You'll hold more, yeah? Yeah. If you pop up to 5 CP, all I'm going to do is, uh, just advancing, get me to where I need to go. So, use my reroll litany. Actually, no, litany's dead. Big Bird's just going to advance. Yeah. Just so I can get line of sight on Dante. Dante. Old mate over here is going to advance. Yeah. Why did I roll two dice? Cool. I don't think he needs to be there anyway. It doesn't matter. He gets through the wall anyway. Fight him in combat, bro. 1v1 him. 1v1 Dante. No um, And then they're just going to hang out. doesn't really matter. Yeah, man. What I do... I can't do the action because... No, I, I do control. Can I do the action if something's on it? I don't know. I don't know if that matters for my primary. I don't think it does. No, it does matter for primary. Let's just have a quick look. Oh, so I can't do it. Can't do the action? That's all right. Um, so we'll do interrogation. Yep. Which, just for fun, I'll keep the perils. Yep. Damage on myself. Two. I get a CP though. Yep. That dude's on that. Um, I'm going to use my cabal points to auto pass. How many do I have? Three, six, eight, ten with them. So I'll auto pass the malediction just to make yep. sure I get it. Um, termies are going to put plus six inches on their shooting, which they get. So I've done one blessing, one malediction. And then all that's left is to blow him up with cowardly psychic combat. So Doombot from Araman. That's three so far. Smite. And I'll just make a flat three. Ah, uh, he's dead. He's dead. Cool. So that will max prowess. Oh no, prowess is already maxed. Disregard. It will max wrath because I did malediction, blessing, a couple witch fires, and interrogation before I killed him. Yeah. Um. So I'm not going to be able to get on the primary because it's two and more. 
don't think there's anything to score except maybe take some pot shots oh, at the table. Tammy's had no buffs. You can if you kill four Tammy's, you get another point for an every. Yeah, yeah, that's a that's a good point. Um, so, what did you score that turn? Um, hold more. Yep. Plus three for wrath, three for interrogation, so they're maxed. Yep. But I can't do the tertiary because you're on the objective, so yep. I couldn't start that. 97. Killing it, my dude. Good stuff. Um, Alright, yeah. Just send it. Just send it. Over there. Yeah, just everything into... Demis. Yeah. Any strats that you can do to make it better? Any bench? I guess Blood Angels are mostly fighty strats and shooty strats. Uh, you can give, you can do chapter mark. Let's see uh, what yeah, uh, um, do, yeah, Tom's Captain. able to do oh, with yeah, his Redemptor that 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 and with Dante that he's got oh, left yeah, on the field. Um, I believe but we're can looking do, at maybe uh, uh, finishing Leo. up yeah, relatively yeah, soon yeah. with this matchup, ladies so and gentlemen. So let's see one. what happens here. Uh, what is it? Yeah. Uh, so well, you can pick either, can't you? Yeah. So I'll either charge Plasma mm -hmm. uh, for four shots. Yep. Take that. So three, three roll the one. Uh, so four hits, winning on twos. Yep. Uh, so you got CP for a reroll as well. Uh, you got heaps of CP. Oh yeah. Yep. Oh, so five ups. So two are dead. Yep. Uh, reroll the ones. Keep in. Keep hearing some matters. Uh, threes. Uh, so two at AP one. Good. And uh, then four shots. Fours. Uh, just one at no AP. One at no AP. All good. Uh, one shot. One opportunity. Three. <laughs> three. Uh, one at AP one. All right. Uh, so I'll get. How many did I kill? Two. Two more. Um, Kill two more, so only six more wounds. So it doesn't keep the tally over at all. It's all right. Um, I do get one for banner at the beginning, yep, and, and then one at the end, and then one at the end. Damn! Brutal. Good game, my man. Thank you so much. No, it was an absolute pleasure. Um, to, so what do we got to do here? CP. Game three, so I started on four. Do you started on at that battle round? All right, uh, ladies and gentlemen. I think I so it looks like three, the three, gentlemen are finished um, up, so I'm going to update the so turn I number. Started on and I'm just going to uh, go get their scores for you, and we'll talk about it, and we'll talk about the game, and do a bit of a wrap-up for it, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, actually, I didn't do the game for either. So, sorry. Um... So start of the battle round four, and then end of it. Yeah. Brutal. So relentless was last turn. Yeah. Um, what did you have for? Uh, is that right? Four, three, three, one. So I've got seven, four. Does that look right to you for primary? I think that's right. Uh, so let's have a look. Just double check it. So primary, yeah, you pretty much cut me off the whole time. So yeah, a tough mission to go second. Yeah. I think I, like, honestly, I should have sent it more rather than trying to play KG. I think if I just, just yeah. send before you start scoring. Like once you get into combat with me, you see, you just pick up, like, 30 wins worth of rubric, so. But is yeah. that right, the score there? Uh, yeah, I'm happy with that. So uh, well, Does that got, match up with what you've got? Or yeah. What have I missed for you? There's two points somewhere that's missing. Uh, uh, so last got... turn banners, that's where it is. Oh yeah, banners, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. But I've got it on that sheet, so that's okay. Yeah. Awesome. Do you want to just double check the sheet in total? So secondary... You gotta win the twenty now. No, ninety-seven. You gotta win the whole thing, bro. It's downhill from here. <laughs> so thirty-eight, forty-eight. Well, 
literally just said it. <laughs> there you go. Brett, too busy. Thank, Thank you, you so much, much. gentlemen. Um, feel free to just turn off the mics. Just the same thing as before. Hold yep. that middle button in until the light comes off. And, it's, and the screen goes blank. And you're all good. Just back up here. Alrighty, everybody. How are we all doing in chat? So, yeah, I know. I know, Zoe. I know. I uh, just got the players to turn off their mics. So, we're going to update the final scores. I'm going to walk you through what has happened here. So, in the final couple of turns, Jordan managed to pull out some massive points on primary. Ended up scoring him 42 points total. For Sorceress Prowess, he managed to score the full 15 there, as well as the full 15 on Wrath of Magnus, as well as the full 15 on Psychic Interrogation, leaving him with 87 out of a possible 90 points scored from Battle Points. Of course, I do not include Battle Ready Bonus in these results for you, ladies and gentlemen. Then, going to Tom's points, unfortunately, he only managed to score 11 points on Primary. He did manage to score... 12 points on Relentless Assault, however. He scored 8 points total on No Prisoners and also scored a full 7 points on Raised Banners, leaving him at 38 points total. So 38 to 87, so 97 to 48. A massive result there, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I hope that you have enjoyed this game. <laughs> Scotty, what are you doing to me? I can't afford to get hooked on a game like this, lol, but I want to say that I enemy beneath. First off, welcome in, brother. Great to have you joining us on this lovely Saturday or Friday evening. And I 100% understand, my friend, 100% understand. So, a great game uh, from both players. Uh, unfortunately, the, the Blood Angels, as we saw during that game, they just couldn't maintain the trades. Uh, the Thousand Suns were able to just trade back into the Blood Angels a lot more effectively and less costly to them as well. You saw the, the conservation of those Scarab Occult Terminators go quite well for them. Fate Weaver just skirting around that bottom left-hand side. Oh, excuse me, chat. Of the field and just skirting that left-hand side, just casting Psychic Powers, staying out of range of things. Um, really just doing so much damage with Psychic Powers, doing so much damage with Mortal Wounds, getting around that Armor of Contempt of reducing AP of minus one. So, really great to see a great matchup. Both gentlemen were awesome to have on stream, and I wish them both the best of luck. And so, that is going to be it for round one. Ladies and gentlemen, hope you've enjoyed this game.